Hey guys, I'm going to show you how we roast up some beets. So I've got two bunches of beets, some big ones, and then some smaller ones here. And the first thing I'm going to do is struggle to get this twist tie off. I never know which way to twist these. Uh, you can use a nice pair of kitchen scissors if you have them that'll cut through the wire. But my scissors are dull, so... But we got it. And we'll... My greens here are wilted, um, but that's because these beets have actually been sitting on the counter for well over an hour now. Um, but okay, so the very first thing that I do is I cut off the greens at the top and I leave about an inch, two inches. Um, and like I said, you can save these, you can saute them up. Um, cook them like you would spinach. They are really good um, and they do kind of taste like spinach so and they're good for you So and I always cut the little root tail thing off um, But you don't have to do that So we're just gonna keep doing this with all these beets now beets are really good for you um, My husband really enjoys roasted beets They're you know high in fiber. They've got Lots of potassium, iron, vitamin C. Um, some, of, some of the benefits of beets are, you know, they help lower your blood pressure, improve, improve blood flow, stuff like that. And they actually are a good source of plant protein. So, so we are not going to save our beet greens today. Um, they're going to go out to the bunnies that live in the yard. But that's because I actually have a bag of beet greens already in the refrigerator that are still waiting to be cooked up. So, and Mr. Bunny really enjoys them. All right. So we are going to go wash these up. So you really want to wash them really well. Um, you can use like a potato scrubber if you have one, but I usually just kind of wash them really well with my hands. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is get out enough squares of aluminum foil for each beet. So one for each beet. Okay. And then we're just going to wrap them up. So I just set it in the middle and I just kind of roll it up. Fold it up. Try to make it kind of tight because you they do um, they do put out a lot of liquid and you don't want that liquid to leak into your oven or onto your pan because it will burn. I've actually got my oven preheating to about 400 degrees. And depending on how big your beets are, is going to be how long you want to roast them for. These little packets just kind of create like a little steam packet for them. So they kind of steam in the packet. Go ahead and pop them in the oven. These ones took about 45 minutes. Okay guys, these have roasted for about 45 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and do this over the sink. Uh, there's a lot of juice in here that can leak out and stain things, so you want to do it over the sink. Uh, the first thing I do is just pull the stem off, and then the skin literally will just peel right off. I always do this under running cold water. Uh, the cold water actually keeps the beet juice from staining your skin. But it's so easy to do this, you guys. It just peels right off. And like I said, just try it. A lot of people don't like beets, um, but I think they're fantastic. And they're so much better than canned beets or jarred. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you how we slice them up. Sorry about the lighting. In my kitchen lighting is really bad. Um, so I always just slice a little bit off the end and then 
a little bit off the um, stem part. Those will just go out to the bunny too. My husband likes these in chunks, but you can certainly slice them. You can you can cut these however you like. But we just chunk them up, or put them in a container, and stick them in the fridge, and just eat them like a snack. Like I said, they're so good for you. They're delicious. They're nice and sweet and earthy. They're really good.